analog effects, color effects, define, HDR, pre-sharpener, sharpener output, silver effects, and viveza, foliage bump. <laughs> Far out. Uh, or bleach bypass. Jesus, that's full on. You can define here how much of that area you want to mask. You know what I mean? I'm only here for the presets. Uh, <laughs> up here is a little loop. You just chuck it in and it works. Gary, look, it's Skippy. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ilford Pan 100. I'm just winging it here, Jerry. Antique. Far out. Distressed. This is unreal. This is really nice. Yeah, you, you, you can go crazy here, man. I'm telling you now. You can spend ages here mucking around. Jerry, we're going to talk about the Nick Collection 8 that just got released. <laughs> now, if you don't know what Nick Collection is from DxO, the photographic editing software, it's like their add on extra um, plugins for Photoshop, Photo Lab, Affinity. Maybe some other ones. I'll have to research it. But they're the three main ones that it's like a plug-in extra on top of your photo editing software. It used to be owned by Google. Jerry, did you know that Google used to own it? Yeah. I think that was like 20 years ago. And anyway, they made it um, like full on with presets and really powerful plug-in for Photoshop. Uh, and I've got Photo Lab 5. I don't have Photoshop. Oh, by the way, they sent me a copy of it um, early to review it because it just got released today. And just to talk about it to whoever's listening, um, I've never used it before. I didn't even know what Nick was really until kind of like Rob Trek. Rob Trek, if you ever go to Rob Trek's channel, he's the DxO expert. <laughs> and he knows a lot about it. So I just thought I'd have a go of it and just test it out. Hey, Jerry, always up for testing things. And, um, yeah, I really liked it. It's a, I'll tell you what, for a beginner, not a beginner, but like for, you know, an enthusiast, that's what I am. <laughs> uh, it's, it's unreal because um, I'm the enthusiast. I'm the lazy enthusiast because there's heaps of presets, which is what I like. Um, and then the, the reason the presets are good because you bung them on, you can then tweak around with it. Rather than start fresh with nothing um, and then, you know, really bend your, bar, uh, bend your brain trying to figure out, shit, where do I start? Chuck a preset on, go, oh, that's, that's kind of what I wanted and then muck around with uh, everything on the, on the side. Hey, Jerry, just like editing normal um, with your DxO or your Photoshop or your... Because I'm, I'm living in the Luminar Neo world and every now and then I pop over to DxO Photo Lab and now with this, I tell you what, uh, there's some really good um, features with Nick Collection, which I personally like. Uh, Jerry, do you want to know what they are? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've... Of course I've studied this, Jerry. <laughs> uh, the main one is the color effects, E-F-E-X. That's just like your normal Photoshop, Lightroom, Photo Lab, whatever, on steroids. <laughs> it's just, it, it gives you way more tweaking. And by the way, I'm going to go through all this later. This is just a run through. The next one they've got, and I, personally, I think this one's the reason why I would buy it, along with the analog one, is the Nick Silver FX, E-F-E-X. I heard a lot of good stories about it, and I tell you what, it's unreal. Like, for black and white, um, the, the presets I get on Luminar Neo, they're okay, and uh, they're not bad in the tweaking you can do. But I tell you, this is like full on, you know, this is like fine grain, micro contrast, you know, you can really push um, the contrast, the, the black and the white. Um, Jerry, does it sound like I know what the hell I'm talking about? <laughs> I'll tell you now, no, really, silver effects is what, probably the reason why I would only buy this, uh, along with the next one, which was analog effects. And if, you, if you're into film, uh, I'm telling you, analog effects, full on. The presets, the, the 
noise, the paper, the smudges, the watermarks. The <laughs> if you want to completely destroy your digital photo and and <laughs> and make it all the way from 1920 to you know where 1990 uh, retro Gen X bloody analog Nick analog effects unreal the borders all the different borders you can choose it's just full on all the different grades of um, film same with silver effects you can choose the different films Vivia I don't know what the hell this is takes tonal control in an instant. I had a go of it. I really don't know what the hell it's doing. It, I think this one is like for really, really fine tuning for experts. But for me, uh, I'll take it or I'll take it or leave it. Define. Now, this one is um, noise reduction. This one is a little bit less destructive or it's more natural noise reduction. When I played with it, I wasn't really impressed, but probably because I'm so used to the pure raw, like it just blows you in the face. Hey, Jerry. Ah, oh, you cheeky bum. Yeah. I don't know if I like that one. I, I just prefer to use pure raw. It's just easy, bang, bang, bang. And then you've got the sharpening one. It's called pre-sharpener and output sharpener. Now, the pre-sharpener will sharpen your image there and there. And then there's another one, I got confused, sharpener output. I think that's for when you really wanna print. And then the other one is HDR effects. So where you combine, you get three or five images at different and chuck them all in and HDR it. Uh, that one uh, apparently is one of the best in the business. This one seems to be a little bit more professional. This year is the 30th anniversary they got full scientific nerds <laughs> who really study the micropixels and the lenses, aberration and all that shit. Uh, and then the last one is, uh, that's it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that output one, eight. There's eight kind of plugins that you get with the Nick collection. Now, you need Photoshop, or DxO, Photo Lab, I think Affinity. If you don't have any of those applications, um, you can use it as a standalone also. It works just as good as stand, uh, by itself as standalone. Obviously, it's, it's better with plugins because I tell you, this is really geared towards Photoshop as well, especially now with Nick Collection 8, version 8. Uh, it's introducing, you can pull in all the masks from Photo Lab, uh, from um, DX, from Lightroom and Photoshop. And, um, but if you don't have any of that, it works as a standalone, which is, hey, this is good, Jerry, yeah, because I tell you what, the presets alone is really what I would buy it for anyway. So even if I didn't have um, there's applications i'd still use it because just for the awesome presets especially that analog one and the silver effects now the advantages of having lightroom and dxo um, photo lab is that it's just as much easier to actually edit and move it the workflow is easier because it doesn't um, edit native raw files it only you have to convert it to a bloody tiff that's the only downside to it um, i think a tiff or a JPEG it has to be converted. Hey, Jerry. But when you're in Photo Lab, for instance, or Lightroom, you just right click, export, and it opens up. It creates the TIFF straight away with all your adjustments as well. So, whatever you adjusted in your main um, application, then um, right click, plug it over to DxO uh, Nick Collection 8, pick the one that you want, color effects, silver effects, whatever, pops over and the TIFF pops over. Hey, Jerry, the TIFF. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then you can go for it and then you export it back. That's the beauty of the plugin wise. Um, if you, you're using it standalone, then you have to convert it somehow to TIFF anyway and then drag it in that way. So anyway, Jerry. Hey, you. Hey, come here, puppy. Jerry. Uh, 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 uh. 
Jerry, you want to go head over to the computer? You want to go do some editing now? We'll go, we'll go over, we'll fire up the computer and we'll start editing uh, the Nick Collection 8. So now full disclosure, hey Jerry, full disclosure, I'm only a novice, um, you know, enthusiast really. I haven't really played around much with this. Hey Jerry, I'm just a noob. But um, this will be just like a first-hand experience of uh, what I think about it. Um, and s actually, it's a good test for someone new who to buy it to see how I can learn it, um, like on the go, on the fly. I've played around with it for about a week, a couple of days actually, not a week. But um, it's, a, it's enough to see whether I like it or not and whether you see that if I see if I like it or not. Or Jerry, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs>